You're listening to Russell Prue on Bet Radio. Broadcasting on the Anderson Tiger Radio Network. It's my pleasure, great pleasure, to introduce my next guest on Bet Radio. It is John Crockford. He is the co program team manager for performing arts and music at New Vic. That's, of course, the posh name for Newham Sixth Form College. John, thank you so much for joining Bet Radio. It's, it's my pleasure to, to be talking to you. Ah, bless you. Now, we've just interviewed two of your fabulous students, just absolutely cracking performance, and are, they're very creative. Can you just tell the listeners a bit more about this programme, of uh, this en- enormously exciting programme you've got going there? Yeah, um, absolutely. We've, we, we do uh, Level 3 BTEX um, in, vo- in a vocational courses. Uh, we do uh, music technology, and these guys are also... Um, some of them on the performing course, so they're doing a, an A-level course, so they'd be doing uh, a vocational A-level called a subsidiary diploma. The advantage being that we can um, uh, engineer and um, create, devise interesting projects through, mm. uh, so they can expand their skills through um, interesting outcomes. And um, they, this covers uh, live music, so performance, uh, but it also covers clearly uh, music technology, sequencing, recording, studio work, and live on uh, live work as well. Mm-hmm. Um, what's interesting is the, the development over the last few years, more and more marketing and kind of you know the whole holistic angle coming in as well. Uh, awareness of the industry, not just sort of copyright and that sort of thing. No, important. And it, important. Absolutely right. And, and with a an changing and ever changing industry, an industry that is very 21st century, that is very downloadable mm-hmm. industry. Uh, and it's not about pitching yeah. your talk to uh, a record label anymore. I mean, I, I picked this, uh, both of these pieces of work from school's record label. So both of these artists are now selling their work on the open market. That, that, that's right. Yes. I mean, it's, it was a, a very interesting um, sort of ven- venture that I, I um followed my, my nose into really and got more and more interested by the concept whereby mm. they the, the this record label uh, based down in the west of the southwest of England you know mm. seem to be very concerned about the 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 students not uh, and and the whole idea of them learning in a pretty non-threatening kind of way and mm. you know that they they have control over their their music but they get to um they get to be involved in charts and rate other than listen to other people's music and mm. indeed sell sell their stuff um yeah. and and attach a price to their stuff give give meaning value to it absolutely absolutely right um, and w- what also impressed me john about both of the the two gentlemen we interviewed was their confidence levels and their ability to express themselves very coherently these were not just pure artists that have just done everything in a, in a very closed silo they're very worldly if i can use that language i'm really really impressed with the oh the lists up to the listeners can make their own mind up but I'm, i know the listeners will be really impressed with the confidence levels and certainly the language levels of your students there well that's, that, um, yeah, that's I mean, hopefully that's part, partly the kind of rounded education we try and give them at, at mm. New Vic. Um, you know, we, we're, we're a real, really mixed community. The music is mixed. Mm. But we, we uh, have lots of uh, different layers and contacts, you know, with, with, within, the, within the industry that we try and impart uh, an openness and um, a realism to the students as well. You know, um, the, the idea of being entrepreneurial um, mm. and being open-minded is is pretty close to my heart. And um, mm. certainly, I know a lot of the students. They are ambitious. They are not necessarily coming from the most wealthy, privileged mm. backgrounds, and certainly actually far from it in most mm. cases. Um, if you know East London and Newham in particular. So, but their 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 creativity is amazing. Um, they're used to improvising, thinking on their feet, as as well as learning kind of the theory and the, the nuts and bolts. It's, 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 it's an exciting program and they're exciting students to be with. I've, I've, I've been there um, for four or five years and in, in Newham sort of eight years now. So, Wow. Um, Have you seen a difference? Have you seen a trend, a growing trend, either in student numbers or opportunities or where this, where this work actually takes them? Have you seen some, some, some differences? We, we we do, and there are there are, there are opportunities and there are threats as well. Obviously, in, in today's climate, um, I was talking last night to some people, um, some students who are now at uni and uh, who come back to our college to do a pre- for a presentation in the evening. Mm-hmm. They were talking about um, you know all the different courses, the, the outcomes that this course had given them. Um, some of them were doing performance based, some doing kind of electronic, acoustic, uh, electroacoustic music. Others doing studio recording and production. Um, most people, when they think of music tech, 
think about oh it's just you know i want to be a producer or mm. you know whatever but actually the range of skills you need to create a viable career or to give yourself opportunities is, is so vast that um mm. that you know you you need to be quite uh open-minded and, uh, and, versatile. and open for collaboration. And, and versatile. I think yeah. you're absolutely right. They're absolutely right. Mm. And they're, we, they're, these students are definitely um, mm. up for collaboration as well. They, yeah. they were excited by the idea of the school record label mm. um, as much as we were. You know, the idea that, that there was a real-world out, outcome there, that they could learn some of the process. Mm. Um, the idea of, of, of speaking to you was, uh, was, was, was really exciting for them. Mm. Um, the idea that they... They have a, a a real presence out when their music is mixed and mastered, and they can learn skills and learn it, uh, and 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 make mistakes and learn from those, you know, and the next and the, maybe the marketing or the image behind the track, or sure. you know, they start to get the whole picture. I mean, that's amazing. That's a really nice idea. You're not just saying, oh, imagine it's a yeah, it's um, a record company. It is a record company, but it's out there. And they're being marketed as as an artist, as would be for any other mm. record company. What's the next step for these students? Where do they typically go on from you? They typically would end up um, either going and doing um, work in London. I've got we've got quite a few students who kind of do sort of session work and then combine it with short courses, mm-hmm. or they typically go on to do university um, or college, uh, either HMDs or of, of, often it's um, degrees. Mm. Um, and that that'll be in uh, everything from record, uh, music production, music technology to performance um, and artist management and ma- you know, events management and that sort of thing. There are new, more and more courses reflecting the diversity of the uh, of the careers out there, um, and there are some uh, you know there's, there's, it's quite diverse. Um, the, there are challenges as I hinted earlier. Actually, you know, yes. uh, a lot of a lot of parents you know don't necessarily see. Uh, creative subjects and i'm not just talking about music here no. as a viable career path which is ridiculous when it's the you know one of the major areas of employment in the country overall absolutely creative industries, and will continue there, to there be a, absolutely there, there, there is a there is a, a, a difficulty getting the message across sometimes you know mm. particularly in this economic climate there's a retrenchment and people feel mm. oh, i have to i have to do accountancy mm. or business and, and, and ignore the creative stuff no. and and what's nice is these guys are being business-like entrepreneurial and showing creativity as well. Mm. Um, and, um, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's, that's a really important message for everyone, that, that, you know, keep your creativity going, whatever course you're doing, whatever you want to do in life. Um, but the, these guys happen to be doing it, you know, full-time, and they're, they're so into it. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, it really does show in their work. And, John, thank you very much for your time. I'm very, very grateful. Cracking students, keep going at it and uh, keep in touch because I'd I'd like to just follow their careers and see how they get on. And if I can do anything else for you in the future. (laughs) No, you call on me again. I'd be delighted uh, to interview them. Uh, Just really good. And I'm very grateful. Chatting live here with John Crockford, who's the co-programme team manager and performing arts and music at New Vic. John, thank you so much indeed for joining Bet Radio. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.